Hi, in this video, I'll explain about dew point and relative humidity in an easy to understand manner. In this image, you can see water drops having formed on leaves. The same thing can be observed on grass as well on winter mornings. So this is called the condensation of water and these are called dew drops. That leads us to the term dew point. The dew point therefore is a temperature point and at every temperature there is a maximum limit for the surrounding air to hold moisture and if the existing moisture in the air is more than what the air can hold the extra moisture will come out and condense as water on leaves and grass and other surfaces. This is the principle of the condensation. Now to define how much water vapor the air can hold the definition is in terms of the vapor pressure of the moisture. The moisture is a general term, vapor pressure is a technical term. So at any given temperature there is a saturation vapor pressure. Saturation means that's the maximum limit and the air cannot hold any more than that. So if we cool the air obviously at a lower temperature the air can hold only less amount of moisture. Therefore the saturation vapor pressure is lower at low temperatures, it's higher at high temperatures. Let's play with some values to be more clear. So in this chart you have in the first column some temperatures 5, 10, 15, 20 and 40 degrees centigrade. In the second column you have the saturation vapor pressure for each temperature. These are fixed and these cannot be changed. For example at 5 degrees centigrade the saturation vapor pressure is 6.51 millimeters of mercury. At 10 degrees centigrade it's 8.94 millimeters of mercury. At 15 it's 12.67. At 20 degrees centigrade it's 17.5. The third column gives some hypothetical values which I have put in here to uh, clarify the concept. And the fourth column talks about whether there will be dew drops forming or whether there will not be any dew drops forming. So let's look at the 10 degree centigrade column. So 10 degree centigrade the saturation vapor pressure is 8.94 and suppose we plug in 5 millimeters then 5 is much less than 8.94 the air is dry uh, it can hold up to 8.94 5 is much less so there won't be any dew. Similarly if we take uh, a uh, vapor pressure of 9 millimeters at 15 degrees centigrade and if we cool the air to 10 degrees centigrade at 10 the saturation value is 8.94 and we are at 9 millimeters uh, worth of moisture so obviously 9 is greater than 8.94 and there will be dew formation if we cool this kind of an atmosphere from 15 to 10 degrees centigrade. Let's look at another way to understand this concept so you have the same temperatures on the left hand side you have the second column with the same values and the third column with the same values of the um, hypothetical water vapor pressures. Now we are talking about whether it's saturated or unsaturated. So at 10 degrees centigrade if we are at 5 mm we are unsaturated because we can go up to 8.94. At 40 degrees centigrade the saturation vapor pressure is 55.1 and we are at 60 therefore we are already saturated. That's how you work with that table. Now we come to the concept of relative uh, humidity uh, after the definition of dew point. So the relative humidity came into existence to define how humid the situation is. So if the existing vapor pressure at a given temperature is divided by the saturation vapor pressure, that's a ratio and it's expressed in terms of percent and that tells you whether we are at 0% or 100% relative humidity. Looking at everything together will further clarify the concept. So we have the values of temperature 5, 10, 15, 20 and 40 as before. The second column gives a hypothetical value of vapor pressure, my own values. And the third and fourth column talk about dew point and relative humidity. So let's take the 10 degree centigrade example. At 10 degree centigrade we have a hypothetical vapor pressure of 4.47 millimeters. This is exactly half of the saturation vapor pressure from the previous table. Because the existing vapor pressure is half, therefore the relative humidity in the fourth column you, is read as 50 percent. Similarly, at 15 degrees centigrade, the existing vapor pressure is 6.33. 
which is exactly half of the saturation vapor pressure at 15 degrees centigrade. Therefore, the relative humidity is 50%, the last column. Now, the third column gives the temperature at which the saturation vapor pressure is maximum. So, at 0 degrees centigrade dew point, the saturation vapor pressure is 4.47. At 4 degrees centigrade, the saturation vapor pressure will be 6.33. So, you can play with this chart and understand the whole concept. So, since relative humidity, the dew point temperature and the existing temperature are all related to each other, there is an equation called the August Roche Magnus approximation which helps to calculate uh, any one of them if the other two are known. I hope uh, this uh, video was useful to you. Uh, thanks and have a great day.